In the realm of economic forecasting, few predictions have been as ominous as Simon Hunt's warning that by the end of 2024, the world could experience a depression akin to the catastrophic events of 1929. This short but impactful statement has ignited discussions and concerns in the financial world, with many pondering the potential implications and the validity of such a claim. In this video, we'll delve into Simon Hunt's insights and analyze the factors that might lead us through a 1929-like depression by the end of 2024. Simon Hunt, a veteran economist and geopolitical analyst, has a track record of making bold and, at times, controversial predictions about the global economy. Hunt's warning about a potential depression akin to the catastrophic events of 1929 has sent shockwaves through the financial community. His analysis is rooted in historical patterns, current economic indicators, and geopolitical developments, which he believes are converging to create a perfect storm. The Great Depression of 1929 was a defining moment in the history of global economics, characterized by a severe economic downturn, mass unemployment, and widespread poverty. The parallels between the events leading up to the 1929 crash and the current state of the global economy are eerily similar. Hunt argues that the excessive debt levels, speculative bubbles, and geopolitical tensions prevailing today bear a striking resemblance to the conditions that precipitated the Great Depression. One of the primary concerns raised by Hunt is the escalating levels of global debt. In the years leading up to the 1929 crash, easy credit and rampant speculation led to inflated asset prices and a subsequent market collapse. Hunt argues that we are witnessing a similar scenario today with governments, corporations, and individuals accumulating unprecedented levels of debt. This situation coupled with speculative bubbles in various sectors such as real estate and tech raises concerns about the sustainability of the current economic growth. Geopolitical tensions and trade conflicts always played a significant role in shaping the global economy. Hunt points to the escalating tensions between major world powers, trade disputes, and political unrest in various regions as potential triggers for an economic downturn. Historically, geopolitical events have disrupted trade, created uncertainty in financial markets, and led to economic recessions. If these tensions continue to escalate, they could contribute to the unfolding of Hunt's predicted scenario. The intricate web of global trade, once seen as a symbol of interconnectedness and, pro and progress, has faced an unprecedented challenge in recent years. Ongoing supply chain disruptions. These disruptions, caused by a myriad of factors ranging from pandemics to global tensions and natural disasters, have sent shockwaves through industries worldwide. In this turbulent landscape, businesses are forced to reassess and adapt their strategies not only to survive, but thrive amidst these challenges. The root causes of these disruptions are varied and complex. The initial blow came from the COVID-19 pandemic, which, with its waves of infections and subsequent lockdowns, paralyzed manufacturing units and halted transportation networks. Geopolitical tensions manifested in trade disputes and sanctions added fuel to the fire, disrupting the smooth flow of goods and raw materials across borders. Simultaneously, natural disasters struck various regions, causing infrastructural damage and further complicating the already fragile supply chains. Labor shortages, both skilled and unskilled, have become another significant hurdle, slowing down production lines and increasing costs. Additionally, the rising threat of cyber attacks has raised concerns about data security, another layer of complexity in an already challenging situation. The consequences of these disruptions are profound and widespread. Manufacturers are facing production delays due to the lack of essential components, affecting both their schedules and customer satisfaction. As demand outstrips supply, costs have soared, leading to price hikes that burden both businesses and consumers. Retailers find themselves grappling with inventory shortages, resulting in stockouts and dissatisfied customers. Similarly, governments today must adopt proactive measures to address the root causes highlighted by experts like Hunt. These measures may include physical policies to reduce debt, regulatory reforms to curb speculative bubbles, and investments in education and workforce development to prepare for the challenges posed by automation. In the 21st century, the world has witnessed an unparalleled level of global interconnection. Trade routes stretch across continents, financial transactions happen in real time, and information travels at the speed of light. While these advancements have undoubtedly fostered economic growth and cultural exchange, Hunt views this interconnectivity as a double-edged sword. The same networks that facilitate the flow of goods, capital, and information also create vulnerability wherein a crisis in one part of the world can swiftly reverberate across the entire globe. 
This, Hunt contends, amplifies the potential impact of any financial crisis, making it more profound and widespread than ever before. Hunt's dire prognosis is not based on a singular factor, but rather a perfect storm of interconnected issues. Ongoing supply chain disruptions, as discussed earlier, have created a ripple effect throughout industries, leading to production delays, raising costs, and strained consumer markets. Geopolitical tensions, exemplified by trade disputes and sanctions, have further strained international relations, hindering the smooth flow of goods and resources. Additionally, factors such as political instability, environmental challenges, and technological vulnerabilities all contribute to the impending crisis, forming a complex web of interrelated issues that Hunt urges will unravel the global economy. The comparison to the Great Depression, a period marked by severe economic hardship, widespread unemployment, and social upheaval, is not made lightly by Hunt. He emphasizes that the modern world, while more technologically advanced and economically integrated, is also more fragile due to its complexity. The intricate supply chains that sustain the global economy, while efficient, are susceptible to disruption. In an era where countries depend heavily on each other for resources and trade, a crisis in one nation can swiftly cascade, affecting others in a domino effect. Additionally, the financial systems and markets, now intricately connected through digital platforms, can experience rapid and unpredictable fluctuations, amplifying the impact of any crisis. Simon Hunt's ominous prediction, rooted in the ITR economics proprietary forecasting model, boasts a remarkable accuracy rate of over 90%, has undoubtedly sent shockwaves through the financial world. However, it's imperative to recognize the inherent uncertainties that surround economic forecasts. While these forecasts provide valuable insights and guidance, the complexity of global economics means that predicting the future with absolute certainty remains a challenging endeavor. Simon Hunt's warning about a potential 1929-like depression by the end of 2024 serves as a stark reminder of the fragility of the global economy. While his predictions are met with skepticism by some, they cannot be ignored outright, given the historical precedents and current economic indicators. It's essential for policymakers, economists, and the public to heed these warnings and work together to implement prudent policies that promote stability, address economic inequalities, and prepare for the challenges posed by technological advancements. As the world stands at a crossroads, the choices made today will shape the economic landscape of tomorrow. By learning from the lessons of the past and embracing innovative solutions, there's hope that we can navigate these uncertain waters and build a more resilient and equitable global economy for future generations. Thank you for engaging with us. Hope you found the information valuable. For more insightful content and updates, don't forget to like, comment, share, and subscribe. Stay tuned for the next video where we'll delve into more fascinating topics. Until then, take care, stay curious, and goodbye.